So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about this new pen. It's called the Karan Daash 849 Rollerball. You might be familiar with this. This is the Karan Daash 849 Ballpoint. It's an iconic design. It's been around since I think the 60s. It sells for about $20, which is a reasonable price for this pen. And uh, just a, a really nice retractable ballpoint pen with a metal body and a very cool styling. Again, just it's a very popular, iconic pen. This is sold as a uh, pencil and a fountain pen, but hasn't classically been available in any other variations. Now, Krondosh is selling this right here, which is the 849 design, but in a much larger pen. They say it's 25 or 28 or something like that percent larger than the standard 849 ballpoint. They call it the rollerball, but typically when you're talking about a rollerball pen, you uh, it would be a capped pen, and the Crime Dosh 849 fountain pen is capped. But for whatever reason, the company released this as a retractable pen. Uh, they call it the rollerball, and it's basically a larger version of the ballpoint. So no cap, and uh, we'll get into the refill type in a second, but I was a little bit surprised by the refill type. So we'll set aside that ballpoint and we'll look at the Karan Daash 849 Rollerball. This thing was, I think it went on sale in uh, September, maybe late August, 2021. So it's only been out for a few weeks now. And you could see it has uh, this really nice metal body. It's available in a few different colors, not nearly as many as the ballpoint, but uh, some nice colors. I got it in this sort of uh, navy blue, I guess, kind of a little light for navy, but this blue, same front design where you have the hexagonal body into a long tapered end piece there. Quite nice looking. Uh, no, we'll see if we can zoom in. Yeah, so no front tip protector, or anything like that. Just paint straight to the end. Removable clip, very nice design. Kind of a, I don't know, like a, a racy design. It's kind of lean forward. Uh, I mean, maybe not race inspired, but I don't know. It looks like it's uh, designed to look fast, like kind of swept back. 849 Krondosh, those are hidden under the clip. I didn't do that. That's how it arrives. Quite cool. You have that uh, kind of uniquely designed metal button. It sits on the, uh, on the inside of the body, as you'd expect, but it can plunge all the way down into the body. Quite nice. When it's down, it stays down. You know, when it's... Uh, extended it stays down uh, you can't pull up when you put it back and knock it again it goes back to its original height so it's uh, a very simple pen There's not a lot to it uh, just you know the body the clip no extra grip no removable front piece nothing like that to get at the refill just like with the ballpoint version you just twist this here you can see actually it says Quran Daash it's engraved really nicely on there and there's nothing on the end. So it's pretty, pretty sparse. This piece is not all metal. It's kind of this, like, it looks like stamped steel for me, but it's hard to tell. This plastic piece here and this brass uh, end piece, this is what works with the refill. This is fixed. It doesn't like spring. This is what moves back and forth. Inside the pen, we have this right here. This is a Parker style or G2 refill. It's Karanda Ash branded and it says rollerball refill on it. And uh, not too much else in the way of details. Like, uh, I don't know if Karanda Ash is the manufacturer of this or if this is white labeled or not, but we'll get into that in a second. As far as like the ballpoint versus rollerball style and the name, you know, for me, a rollerball typically would have a, a different refill style. The Parker G2 style refill is typically associated with a ballpoint pen. Uh, obviously, these classifications are somewhat fluid, and it's there's no like law around. You know, you call it pen whatever you want. Typically, a rollerball would have a larger refill, a rollerball style refill or a gel style refill, which are like kind of interchangeable with the rollerball. But so anyway, I would call this a ballpoint, and it would just be a larger ballpoint but uh, that's just me. 
This goes in here and there is a spring in the front here. It doesn't really come out, but it is in there. Uh, if you had to replace it, I think you could, but it's better if the spring stays fixed in the bottom. And this piece just goes in here and you kind of push it down. It wants to pop out, but you need to push it down, apply pressure and twist. It's, it's really not my favorite mechanism, uh, but once it catches and the spring, uh, sorry, the threading catches, you could tighten it and it's fine. The click action is like kind of mushy and kind of, uh, I don't wanna say sloppy, but it's it just, it's not my favorite action. It doesn't feel very mechanical. It feels like when it grabs, it's almost by mistake, but it does work and it has a really nice fit there. You can see the line of that extends almost straight through to the tip of the refill, if I can get it to focus. Yeah, basically it extends pretty much straight through, which for me is just, you know, it doesn't make a big difference, but aesthetically it's pleasing. For comparison purposes, the ballpoint has a similar mechanism. All the branding is similar, pretty much the same clip, same button. Obviously it's smaller here. And uh, when you remove it, you just twist it out. Similar thing. The whole mechanism is the same. I guess this one's gray. And then you have a, uh, this one also has a Parker style refill in it, but I had to chop it down to fit in this pen. This pen typically uses Krondosh's Goliath refill, which is a uh, kind of a, a large ballpoint refill that uses a traditional uh, ballpoint ink, kind of like, you know, a standard refill you'd find in a Rotring 600 or in a, uh, a uh, Parker Jotter type thing. And this thing, it's the same mechanism, except worse. It kind of just like, you have to be really careful and eventually it will catch and then you're fine. I like using this with this needle tip, but it doesn't come with that. Uh, as far as the size comparison, like I said, Krendosh says the two pens are about, I think 25% different or maybe it's 28% different. Anyway, the, the number is is kind of confusing because the, the roller ball is drastically larger than the ballpoint to so, say so, hey, it's 28% different. You know, maybe that's different in volume, but it feels like a much larger pen. You could see these are half inch markings. So it's almost a half inch longer than this one. And it's a good deer deal, more uh, voluminous. It's just a wider pen. A lot of people, they like the aesthetics of the Karanda Ash 849 ballpoint but they say it, this is just too skinny of a pen for me to hold for any uh, you know, extended amount of time. I kind of feel the same way. So with the, with the roller ball, you get a wider pen. It's more comfortable to grip. Even if you have smaller hands, I think most people will agree that the roller ball is a more comfortable pen. You still have that very long tip here. So you are holding it a little bit back. Okay, so let's get into that refill. It is a, uh, again, they call it a rollerball refill. It doesn't have a liquid ink, like a liquid ink. It doesn't have a gel ink or anything you typically associate with a rollerball style pen. For me, to me, this feels like a, uh, kind of like a hybrid ink. It feels a lot like an Easy Flow 9000 ink. Uh, I don't know for a fact that Schmidt is rebranding their refills into Krondosh's Parker bodies, but that's what it feels like. So if you want to get a feel for the pen, then I would say you're getting pretty close with a uh, Easy Flow 9000 in medium in black, but uh, they do have this roller ball refill in there. So it's hard to say what exactly is in the pen. You know, maybe it is a true roller ball ink in a G2 cartridge. I, I kind of doubt it, but Again, the distinction doesn't really matter. It's a nice writing refill. It's smooth with really uh, nice lines to it. It, it is a, a nice writing pen and uh, I do like it a lot. It's, it's fun to use, nice dark ink. So this is the Kron de Ash 849 roller ball. You can see performance is quite nice. Dark line has a rollerball type feel to it, no question about that. Uh, but again, not too far off from the uh, an easy flow or a nice 
hybrid ink has a little bit more of that liquid feel to it than a uh, true hybrid, but uh, pretty close. Lastly, I wanted to close out by talking about the price of this pen. Usually I don't get too much into pricing, but most pens are available used and you could save some money that way. But this pen's brand new, so it's not available used yet, at least from what I found, and it won't be available in any large quantities used anytime soon. It sells for about 47 through $55 right now, depending on where you bought it. I think I paid 47 plus shipping. So this is not at all a cheap pen, especially considering this pen, which is essentially the same uh, is, you know, you could have them have it for under 20 if you shop around. So uh, you're spending a lot of money on this rollerball. I get it. The size just may justify it. But if this pen is, you know, unusable for you for any amount of time, then there's no use that it's a good deal. Uh, it's just not a pen you're going to use. So you have the rollerball. The thing is, this is just an expensive pen for what it is. Uh, there's a lot of really good pens, including really good roller balls that you could find under under $25, something like the, uh, a lot of people like the Retro 51 Tornado and some pens like that. And that, those pens are not only very nice, they're similar in size to this, plus you're getting a, uh, what I would consider to be a true roller ball refill. Uh, and that will have, again, uh, like a liquid ink and uh, you're not using a Parker style G2 refill. The fact of the matter is there are a lot of great Parker style pens available, you know, like a Jotter or even a Jotter XL if you want something larger. So uh, having one coming in around, you know, a good 15 to $20 more than those, it's uh, a little bit, I mean, it makes it a tough call, but this is a nice pen, very good looking, has that classic styling. I like the refill, uh, but just entering into a very, very competitive space. For me, I just recommend waiting uh, a couple months, maybe a couple years till the, this thing is available for, you know, 30 bucks, then you'll have a, a really nice competitive offering. So that's the Karandash 849 Rollerball. Thanks for watching.